are some of the best ways to ensure that you don't lose your pet or if it is last that you are able to recover it? Well, the main thing is being proactive. So identifying your pet, uh, microchipping honestly is the, the most effective means of uh, identifying your pet. So what um, is a microchip? Microchip is a little device which gets in implanted in the loose skin over the shoulder blade. So it's injected with a needle. Okay. Once it's there, it's permanent. It doesn't cause any harm. Um, it doesn't cause any discomfort. So if a pet is ever lost and brought to the animal shelter or to a veterinarian, we scan them. So so the, with the little scanning device and a code comes up. So that code is individual for this pet. We would call the microchip company and they bring up the owner's information on their database. So does it hurt a lot for the animal? Uh, it's no, no different than a, a vaccine injection. Um, many times when the pets are being spayed or neutered, we will microchip them while they're under anesthetic, but it does not require a general anesthetic. It, it can be done when they're awake. And who has the ability to read a microchip? Because obviously, you know, a lay person at home wouldn't. Yes, anyone with a microchip scanner, such as an animal shelter or veterinary facilities, breeders will also have scanners as well. How important is it to get your animal you know, to actually register them and have the tags done every year and the licenses. It is super important because as you had mentioned, a lay person does not have the capability to scan for a microchip. So having a current tag with your current information is super important as well. That way anyone who finds the pet will be able to contact you immediately.